Are you ready for part two? Now that's music I could die for. Cradle of Arachnids. Cool. And they started making videos to die for. Go check them out. I'm glad I did. I love their music. I love their style. Cradle of Arachnids. Oh, they are gonna go somewhere. I am so excited. This is part two of setting up the enclosure for my Carabina Versicolor. I have this false bottom from Josh's Frogs. You can get it other places as well. It says Josh's Frogs false bottom is made entirely of recycled material and lightweight. False bottom retains moisture and provides a void at the bottom of your vivarium for excess water to go. Using Joshua's Frog's false bottom in a naturalistic vivarium fosters a humid environment, healthy soil conditions, and superior plant growth. I am a terrible at opening up bags. If you give me a cereal bag box, I'm going to open it upside down. Next thing I'm going to do is take some of this bio drain. It is a drainage mesh for terrariums. This one was mini. It's for a 12 by 12. It's actually made for an Exoterra. Um, and I am going to fold it up a little bit. Some substrate in here. You can also mix this outside of your terrarium in a separate container. I have my false bottom, my mesh, and my mixture of organic potting soil, vermiculite, and some cocoa fiber. I have a piece of cork bark that I have, I have uh, broken off so that it will fit. And, and I'm going to place just a little bit of hot glue to hold it in place so that it doesn't cave in. I also have a house plant. This is a plant that can tolerate uh, low light. I will put the name of the plant um, up above so that you can find it for yourself. And this is a house plant that I've had for decades and it hasn't been, you know, it's not coming from a store where it's had pesticides on it or anything. So it has a little bit of rooting. I have no doubt it'll take off and be fine in here. I may not use all of it. I really like this little plant. It's one of those fake air plants. I'm going to glue it onto the cork bark. Let's see, where's a good spot? I think right about there is nice. That way it's not up in the top where it's going to get in the way. If, if the Carabina Versicolor likes to hide out back here and come up over the top for a feeding video, um, I have a place for this that is not going to obstruct our view. I'm going to go ahead and, and bury some of this plant. And I have this other one. And this plant, I'm sure, is going to need to be trimmed. These grow quite fast. It's going very excited about this. This little one 
I think is going to be very happy. So when these grow, these plants, they usually just grow out from the stem and just keep growing longer. So it'll be easier to, very easy to just clip it back. I'm gonna add some uh, sphagnum moss. Maybe I'll even, actually, no. Maybe I'll put the water dish over here and bury it a little. I think that looks a little nicer. I just don't want the moss to go inside of the water dish because it will it will suck all the water out. It's not something you want to have happen. Like let's say you go on vacation for a couple days. I mean even a couple days. So you know your your tarantula might be okay, but who knows? Maybe they're gonna molt and they're gonna be really thirsty and there's no water available because the moss sucked it up, well, maybe they can drink off the moss, but still, you just something to be aware of, especially if you live in a really hot, dry climate. Up here to retain some moisture around the roots of the, of the plant. So here we go, we got, we got this little fake air plant, we have a house plant, a live house plant that we've planted in here. Got some cork bark, got our moss water dish give this a little plant a little bit of water to get it started okay i think it looks pretty good i'm happy once you decorate it and everything it'll hide some of the little scratches and flaws that that are on it from when you sanded it or cut it i mean people are really not going to be noticing that they're going to be focused on your beautiful versicolor so it's okay you know and the more you do it i'm sure You'll get better, I mean. So the next thing I'm gonna do is get my little Versicolor in here. I'm really excited. I can't even tell you how excited I am. Here is the enclosure that my Versicolor has been in since I first got it. It was just a little, maybe even less than half inch sling. Been doing just fine in here. I'm gonna get my paintbrush. Here we go. Let's make sure this little one is out of the way. It's not gonna be happy about the um, web being ruined. I have a catch cup. Now I'm expecting that it's probably not gonna really wanna leave because they seem to get pretty attached to their, their nests and their homes just like the rest of us. That web is really strong. You can see on the top of the lid where there are all these anchor points. You can pull on it pretty hard. Now what I'm going to do is tip it right here. I'm going to go back underneath. Come on little one, let's go. Whoop! <laughs> Doing a little bit of a jig. There's a little bit of running in place. Not the best view. Sorry about that. So there we are. It's gonna be time to make a new web and get settled in. Gorgeous. So in case you missed any of that, what I did was I took the lid off. I put this container against the um, doorway of my new enclosure and used the paintbrush to nudge behind the sling and it carefully came out and then it did a little running in place and went into its new enclosure.